Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And we're back again with the final league game of the season. It's Kirsten Ashton against Salford in the non-league to Premier League. And if you look at that table, we have now dropped being so awful, fecking awful. I just want to swear so much about this team. Uh, we've been so awful of late that we've now lost, we went from losing like 4 games to 13 games defeated. We're on a really poor form and it's all because we qualified, we got all the way to the final of the FA Trophy. I did try my best to get knocked out of it, but for some other reason, we managed to beat all the National League teams to get to the Cup Final and in doing so, blew our whole entire league chances. It is ridiculous of how poor we have been in the league. So you were with us with a 6-0 drubbing of Kidderminster, which was amazing. We then beat Sutton 4-2 in the cup fourth round. We then went out and lost in the league twice in a row, 1-0 and 2-1. We then beat league leaders Darlington 1-0, I thought, excellent, we're turning it around. We lost the first leg to Barrow. We then beat Leamington after losing the first leg, miraculously. We win 2-0. We then beat them 2-1 and then went all the way through the fight to penalties and beat them in penalties. We then beat Woking 2-1, 2 with two Harrogate and then 3 defeats in the bounds. 1-0, 3-2 3-3, 3-2 and a 3-1 by SD United. Absolutely diabolical. So much red compared to what, like we ended the season basically the way we started last season. Or started at the beginning of the season on an absolute atrocious run. And last game of the season, we will bring the cup final to you as well, but it's just not good enough. Um, as for the league table, we have to now rely on Tamworth and Chester losing and us beating Salford, which the way we're playing at the minute is not likely at all. I would say we're going to lose and that will be the end of our league season. Ideally, I would like us to win and Tamworth and Chester to lose, which then would give us the, the chance to leapfrog them. But I can't see it happening, to be honest. I would say we're out of the playoffs and we're going to have another season in the Vanarama North next season. Maybe fifth time lucky, who freaking knows. But the way I feel, the whole entire squad, other than the goalkeeper and Chris Chalk can, and Raquel Pike can clear off. They all can be sold for all I care because that's how bad they have been and they don't deserve to be here because they've been crap. To be honest. So the team to play the last game of the season is Rosario Goals with a dude, Booker, Chalk and Bardsley, Kinsella, Lofton, Kenny and Chambers, Pike and Davy Doff. We're playing standard with a fluid formation, all instructions off because we have been so feckin' poor. And hopefully we can miraculously win in the last day of the season before a cup final because three defeats in a row has been a shambles. We've went from being twelve points clear of uh, teams below us they're now being behind them all by three points. Darlington have won the league. They won the league like three matches ago. Um, this is their second time getting promoted in the three years that we've been playing. So, you know, or in the four years, is it? Four years we've been here? Three, four? Um, yeah, we're in our third season. So, yeah. Because uh, we've had one season where we struggled, one season of playoffs this season. So, this is our third season. So, in the three seasons... Th Darlington have gone up, come back, and now they've gone back up. Tamworth went up with them the last time. At the minute, they're in a playoff spot. We are not. So the, they could actually get promoted again. Now, I've turned down so, so many jobs. It has been unbelievable for League 1, League 2. And the way I feel, I feel like just walking away from this club and just getting myself to the Premier League and forgetting about the curse and Ashton all together. But uh, I will have to remain positive that the, this team can actually get out of this division by the end of next season at the latest. I reckon a lot of these players, well a lot of them don't want to stay if we don't get promoted. The likes of Kenny, um, Adamson, Lawton, David Off, etc. all want to leave anyway if we don't get promotion. Well they've made sure we, ha we weren't going to get it with the poor performances they put in. Pike was injured for a lot of it as well. David Off not kicked. David off a lot and came back. Pike got injured and it's just been a mess with the strikers. And Pike, since he's came back, has been awful as well. He's not been on form. We've had us take him off at half time and play Nazan, who's been coming on and scoring goals. But it's just not been enough. It's just not been enough. Chambers has been pretty poor of late. Yabo has not been much better. He's his replacement. 
and it's balls like that is what our issue is and then we don't pick up the second ball and easy get counter attacks and they go and score and it looks like this could be happening again so at the minute the Nash are driving me bonkers in this final few weeks of the season like really badly we had a mixed time in the mid table start with poor then we picked up then we had a poor then we picked up and now we're back to mega poor ring I don't think we've had more than three defeats in a row in any of these games this season but it looks like it's going to be it could be four today and there you go Stockport must be winning because there's no way in hell that we can catch them now Chester are drawing still I can't even see Stockport Kenny with a corner Kinsella can't get there Chambers back to Kenny whips it in chalk with a header and like our keeper's injured we still can't score goals that says it all what is Stockport doing Stockport are drawn as well we have the better goal difference over nearly the whole entire league that's the most embarrassing thing of all but we just can't seem to score goals anymore and we can't seem to win games and it's all since we got to the FA Trophy final that seems to be the only thing on their fucking brains it's oh we're in the final we're going to Wembley well no offence none of you deserve to play on Wembley because you've been wanked for the last end of the season David Off hits the post Pike with the goal and we're 1-0 up and as you can see I'm not even excited about it I don't even want to watch the replay it's not enough to get us in the playoffs so what's the point of getting excited about it Chester's still drawn we need Chester to lose so we need Nuneaton to pull out a result and again I can't see Stockport because we go to another highlight let's see what uh, Adu's going to do with it Adu through the pike pike doesn't get there and Adu gets it back Kenny to David off and again David off to shoots he just shoots every time he gets the fucking ball that boy never ever play the ball in oops I did I click on someone my mouse is still dying I keep forgetting yo where's my mouse gone yo mouse I want to see what Stockport's doing <laughs> we're down to 8th again so we were up now we're back down there's my mouse, it's back, whoop whoop oh well, it's kind of back I think it's on its way out, totally Bargely, oh he hit the crossbar <sighs> fucking hell, well, let me see what Stockport are doing, would jeez Chambers Bargely, again, a shit fucking cross hitting fucking players will you just play a simple fucking pass? oh my good god, we don't, there you go, they deserve a goal if they score I won't be surprised, they deserve it we play really badly at times. What is Stockport? Stockport are drawing one each. That's what happened. Soho Moors had taken the lead. And it's just not enough. This team want to go out and win. Well, yeah, that's great. But you blew it. You should have won the last two games with ease. No offence. SC United, we dominated that game. They finished their chances. We had three goals disallowed. You know, that's the way it goes. And we're not doing much better here because we need Chester to lose which they're drawing and we need Stockport to lose and they're drawing because look at that plus 35 goal difference I think Darling is the only team yeah Darling is the only team with better goal difference than us we scored more than them but because we conceded so many fucking goals to what oh, Stockport are winning so now we have to rely on non eating to beat Chester which it don't look like it's going to happen if it does it's a miracle and we don't deserve it and they do Stockport have equalised again. Our so Soho Motors have equalised against Stockport now. But we need either them to win or non eating to win. I draw suits both Stockport and Chester because then they beat us by a point to get into the playoffs. Chester taking the lead, so that's our idea out. We just need uh, Stockport now to lose. And we need to hold out for our victory against Salford on the last day of the season. But well, it looks like we're going to be playing Vama National League North league season next season again which I'm kinda getting bored of playing the same league oh, it's driving me mad come on Stockport lose and let us leapfrog them for Christ's sake 20 minutes left to go 
three Birkins for us. Not even caring. The goalkeeper's injured as well, which is more embarrassing. We have a bit more than one past them. And even that was a flicky goal. Come on. Not even have equalised against Chester. If they could take the lead, that would be amazing. I just keep an eye out on the scorelines coming across the top more than I am in watching our game if for instance. Bardsley whips it in. Kenny can't get on the end of it. Wow, we actually won a second ball. Jesus Christ. But of course, a dude's going to do nothing with it. Like, he could have put a cross in. Play it back to him. Whip it in, kid. David Off, you are being awful as well since you came back from injury. This is my problem. The players have been injured for a while, have come back, and they've not been great. They've been pretty poor. Lawton's been really poor. David Off's been poor. Raquel Pike's been really poor since he came back. Effort and a half there by David Off. But they've been really poor since they've all come back from injury. And it's not good if they're poor or whether they come back from injury. We need to come back firing for goals and can sell it. That is awful. We do need a left midfielder for next season. I'm not going to sell the players. I, it's getting to the stage where I want to sell these players because so many of them played so awful. But a lot of them going to want to leave now anyway because that's two seasons in a row. I've promised them promotion at two seasons we've failed. Especially with the ready results are going. They're not going our way today. We're, do we're doing our bit so far. If Raquel Pike can score a second, that would end it. And of course, he can't get an injured goalkeeper because he's useless since he came back from injury. Start of the season, I would have been banging that in, so he would have. But this is the way it goes. Kinsella with the corner. Booker's up. Easy for the keeper who's injured. Can't believe we can't beat an injured goalkeeper. What's happening? We still rely on non eaten scoring. And. Uh, Where's Stockport? Where is Stockport? Am I missing Stockport? I can't even find Stockport on the list anymore. We're in the final few minutes. I can't see us getting the playoffs. So there's going to be a lot of players wanting to leave at the end of the season. We might get silverware yet. A bit of silverware would be nice for this season for a change. Have a go. Have a dig. Have a dig. He'll shoot. I told you. He'll shoot all fucking day long. David Off doesn't pass, he just shoots. What is Stockport's result? Why can I not see Stockport on this list? Ugh, keeps going off it too. Kenny, Chambers, David Off. Oh, keeper messed up there. But that's it. We win the game, but fail to. There you go, Chester 2 1 up. That's the end of that. We win our game, but fail to secure a playoff spot. And we end up finishing a point outside playoffs where we've been pretty much all season. So guys, it's been a pleasure. We'll come back for the cup final, whenever that will be. It's been a pleasure. Apologies, not an exciting game, but what can I do? We played shite for the last four fucking games five six games of the season we didn't deserve the playoffs and we didn't get the playoffs so i'll see you for the cup final maybe a bit of silverware who knows and that might end the season on a bit of a high and we'll come back and try to win this league next season cheers guys have a good one all the best bye